Now moving on, let's uh, animate our uh, handles here. And so we will start again by adding an empty. And uh, let's do our throttle. So I'm going to grab that. Let's, uh, let's see if we can even add our data ref real quick. We're going to be looking for throttle ratio. Forget your brackets. Okay, so we're here on frame uh, zero. Now, this time we're not doing a rotation, this time we're doing location. So we'll set that to location. I'm going to set a keyframe here at zero just because I like things in their neutral position to zero. I'll do another keyframe on that first frame. And here, on our third frame, we're going to move this before I move it. Let's set our parent. Control P. There we go. Now, if we grab that. We move it, bring it all the way into right there. And we'll set that keyframe. Okay. So we've got it moving, but we need to do our uh, data ref value over here. So all the way out, its value should be zero. So we'll mark that keyframe. And then all the way in, its value should be 1. And we'll mark that keyframe. Okay. So that's it for the throttle handle. Now with that empty selected, I'm going to shift D to duplicate. Hit X to move it on the X axis over here. I'm going to go up here on the left and I'm going to clear the parent. So now if we grab that, it doesn't do anything. We'll grab this handle, shift select the empty, control P, set that parent. Now we see it's moving. Okay, so where it's sitting right now, uh, we want to keyframe that location. Let's see, we'll jump right here and delete that keyframe. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to slide it all the way in here. Something like that. And mark our keyframe. And let's not forget, while we're on this empty, we need to change our data ref. I'm just looking at uh, the Sim Innovations data ref search. 
to find which one I want. You can also try and search for it in here. Um, we're going to go with let's see, am I looking at okay, so we're on our prop oops, that didn't go Got that data ref in there. And then shift D. Move it on the X. Clear the parent. Grab that, shift that. Set that parent. And again, because we did that, uh, it's checking location now. We need to keyframe where it's at, jump to our next keyframe, clear that keyframe, jump back. So we're back in that position. Now we can jump over here. Pull it into where we want it and mark that keyframe. There we go. Let's change our data ref value. I believe it's a mixture, but let me double check on that. Yep. Okay. Should probably clear that uh, keyframe there. There we go. Let's do that to this one real quick too. One more time, let's do that. And we will shift D, move it over here to our little carb heat, mark that location. Uh, while we're on it, let's not forget to clear the parent. Jump to our next frame, clear that keyframe. Oops. Remember to set the new parent. keyframe there. There we go. And on our carb heat, change this. And for this handle, I actually think I want to reverse our data ref values over here so I'm going to change this value to zero mark that as a keyframe jump over here change this value to one and mark that as a keyframe all right so now we've got those all animated Let's add a uh, 
quick spot for them real quick. So I'm going to select this one, um, jump the, let's see, cursor to selected. Oh, that's right, because it's looking at its origin. There we go, cursor to selected. If you jump into edit, edit mode and then select the mesh, then it'll do that if your origin is this uh, blue dot down here in the in the middle. And that's just so that we can add. We're going to add a mesh. It's going to be a cylinder. Definitely doesn't need to be 32 sides. So this is going to be the part you actually grab in the sim, so make it uh, make sense. So we're going to go about like that. Make sure that it's on your cockpit object. We're going to give it that manipulator gold material. And that makes sure that it's part of the cockpit object so that it can be clicked on. And then back on the object tab, we're going to add a data ref for these. I don't think there is a uh, command for sliding the throttle. Um, and we'll use that same throttle ratio. Don't forget your bracket. I believe that's all we need if I remember right. I'll have to double check in the in the sim to make sure it's still working. Um, so now that that's set up we're just going to shift D to duplicate it. Scoot it over here. Do that twice real quick just so we have these. Okay, so this one was the prop. This one over here is going to be a mixture. And then this one here. Okay, now we want these to move though with our handles. So right now, handles move, but those don't. So we need to uh, take these and shift D. So we've got those. Move them to our cockpit layer. So now we've got them here. Let's make sure we have those four selected. I'm going to clear the parent. And then 
said our parents. Something wrong on this one. Let's try that one more time. That to that. Parent. There we are. So, don't forget to save often. And then, uh, Let's go ahead and export this. Another thing that you should be doing is is keeping your items named. I'll go back and empty. I'll uh, go back and rename those while I'm not recording, just so I don't waste your time. But let's uh, jump here. Go ahead and export. And that exports our cockpit layer, and we'll come back to this layer here and hit export as well now if you're wondering if you're hitting export over here on the uh, in this explain tab those exported objects will go to the uh, location that your blender file is saved so if you want them to if you want to be able to just hit export and they're in your objects folder then your blender file needs to be in your objects folder. While that's loading, I'm going to go ahead and rename these. That's our throttle. This is prop. Mixture. Is that jump there yet? Not yet. Okay, where are we here? All right, and we can see right now that they have um, already moved. Um, but they're not clickable at the moment. So let's jump back in here. Oh, that's what I missed. thought I was missing something. Um, so you do have to tell it it's a manipulator. And what it is uh, doing. So, this is a manipulator. It's going to drag on the XY 
it's a hand. Um, and you need to set your value here, and I'm trying to remember what a good value is. Um, let's just try that real quick. Let's just try a quick export of that change just to see if that uh, worked for it. Okay, and well, I can see it is clickable now, um, but it's not actually dragging. Let's make sure, so it is animated. So it's just a matter of now going back and uh, setting up these values correctly. And so I'll uh, play with that and uh, get back. Okay, so I've tweaked around with those numbers and uh, it is now working as expected. Uh, I don't know that you can see the hand as it grabs those knobs, but it uh, is now following almost perfect with the location of the knob as I pull in and out. And so let me show you over in here. Um, on your object under manipulator so for these the type is drag XY cursor I've just got set to hand you need data ref 1 to match um, the data ref that you're using so uh, for this one sim cockpit 2 engine actuators throttle ratio and then now I found this to be a good fit for um, how it slid I had to try a couple different times before I got just right but uh, so negative 150 yours might be positive depending on how you set up your animation um, and it might be a completely different number but negative 150 on the X and the Y seems to work pretty good for me right now and then uh, minimum value that's the 0 and the 1 for our max and that's the, the uh, number from our data ref that we're using and uh, so anyway you go through and you set that up on each of your um, manipulators here not on the empty not on the animation but on the manipulator that has your manipulator texture and if you uh, do that then you should now have functioning uh, levers within your cockpit <laughs>